Look, our next spot we want to show you is Wake Forest's only skyscraper. And you will see it behind me. It's the oldest building here in Wake Forest. It's three stories high. And it is also has the distinction of having the railroad jump the track twice and go through the bottom of the building. Today, it's a la mode, which is Italian gelato, that you can go in and get different little treats. So when you're in Wake Forest, we do have a little blend of ethnicity, and that's our Italian shop here with gelato. We'll go upstairs. I want to take you up to the top of our skyscraper, and we're going to have to walk because we don't have an elevator here. What we're going to do now is we're going to go up the fire escape so we can get to the top of the uh, skyscraper, and we're in front of Alamo Gelato. This is where we go up our little steps to get to the top. Okay, what we have here, we're at the top of our skyscraper, and if you get a chance, I want you to look across here, and you will see the former home of Wake Forest College, which has now become Wake Forest University. And one of the things people don't realize is it is here that we had our first female grad, uh, medical school, our first female college grads, and our first female lawyers that graduated from Wake Forest College in the States. And we're very proud of that. And the other thing we're very proud of when you're in Wake Forest, and I better be careful saying this, we have a beautiful Carolina blue sky but the first college football game played in the state was between the Wake Forest Demon Deacons and the UNC Tar Heels. Wake Forest won it 7-6, to six. and so we're still very proud that the first winning football game happened right here in Wake Forest. But you can see over there now, this is the Southeastern Seminary, which was Wake Forest College when it left and moved up to Winston-Salem but it's a beautiful campus. So if you're ever down into Wake Forest, you're walking around, one of the great places to go is over there and look at their botanical gardens, sit around, get under the magnolia trees, plenty of benches, plenty of chairs, just a beautiful campus to visit. One of the things that we're looking at right now is people don't realize it, but all the small towns basically in America started on the side of where the railroad was. The railroad would come up. In this particular episode, right over here was the station people would get off on this side, but the railroad side was the front side of the town. Now, as railroads declined, what has happened, and I will show you this when we get to the cotton company, the actual back of the street, back of the buildings, is now the front. And that's because of the decline in the railroad, and the back sides have become the front because that's where they put roads. Now, who was your father? B.J. Powell. He was a, I, he was, uh, he was a barber. Well, interesting. We're right now. We're actually filming oh, okay. histories of Wake Forest, oh, okay. and that's one of the. Can, you remember when the two, the railroad jumped the track twice and went through the bottom of this building? I know. I know it did jump the track. I, I don't know when that time was. I think it was about 1950 was the last time. Well, I was five years old in 1950, okay. but but I don't. I, I know the train did jump the track twice and went into this building, yep. but I have no idea. I, I don't, I don't yep. remember ever seeing that. Yeah, well, this is the oldest building in Wake Forest. Well, I don't doubt that'll be it. Uh, you know, the old, the old road used to come around the campus and crossed right, right here, here and went, you can just see right yep. where it went. Yep. And uh, after, after a number of people got killed right here on this uh -huh. crossing, they decided to put an underpass in. Oh, okay. And that's why the underpass is where it is. And they just continued the road on down around the campus, I, I understand. Yeah. It was way before my time. Which was interesting. When we were up there, Jeff, when you look down on the, over to Southeastern Seminary, and you, you can get this, have you got it on now? Yeah. Okay, when you look over here at Southeastern Seminary, when that was Wake Forest College, you see there's a, a stone wall around the perimeter. That was a Dr. Tom that put it in, and they put it in to keep everybody's cows from going over there. Now, one of the things that would happen over at Wake Forest College when you showed up, you had to bring a rake and a hoe, and one day a week you had to get out there and work at the campus to raise the food and stuff and milk the cows, and that was part of your tuition you paid to go to Wake Forest College. That, that, that's an interesting story. My, my uncle 
both my uncles went there. My uh, one of them got a degree in French history or French uh -huh. art history or something like that. That boy, he, he never could use it. You know, <laughs> like what do you do with that? But my, but my other one was a. Uh, he was a real character. He was a. Uh, uh, he was killed in a in a B twenty four in the Pacific. He was a radio operator back during the war. Uh, but when he came to Wake Forest, they made all the freshmen stand up and tell their names and where they were from and something about their community. And the joker that he was, and he was from down around Mumire, around uh -huh. Springhook, and he stood up and he said, he said, my name is Hodge Collins. I'm from uh, I'm from Nash County, uh, from Momire, and Momire um, is a town whose population never changes because every time a child is born, a man leaves town. <laughs>